Once upon a time, there lived an orphan named Yao. He lived in a cold little shack in the outskirts of a village. He had no parents, no brothers or sisters, no relatives at all. Lonely, I am so lonely. I have nobody, or am I own? No family, no siblings, nobody, or am I own? I'm so cold. I need wood so I can at least build a fire. I guess I'll take my axe and go look for some. Yao looked and looked until he came across a huge tree that he was thrilled about because he could chop it down and have wood for a whole week. What are you doing chopping down my tree? I am cold, I need to stay dry. I have no money, no wood to buy. Please help, please stop chopping up a tree. I have an extra baby, and they will die. They have no wings, and they cannot fly. I'll make you a deal, I'll fly you to the moon. You can get it back gold and be back real soon. The mother eagle reassured him and informed him that he must come very early before the sun rises. So he went back home and gathered material to sew a big bag. After sewing all night, he realized it was morning already and rushed down to meet up with Mother Eagle. You better hurry! The sun is about to rise and will burn us! Frightened, but satisfied with what he got, Yao jumped on the eagle's back and they flew off right when the sun started rising. After this, Yao lived like a rich, happy man. Then one day, a fat, rich villager named Yang stopped over at Yao's mansion to accuse him of being a thief. So I see you got yourself some new things. I wonder who and where you stole all these nice things from, and where you got all this money to this house. What are you talking about? Well, you have no family and no relatives. You must have stolen this from someone or somewhere. Well, I... I... Okay, you have to promise not to tell anyone, but if you go to the huge tree in the forest and begin chopping it, a mother eagle will come and take you to the moon to get gold, just as I did. Hmm. Okay, but you better not be lying to me or I will come back for you. Yang did exactly what Yao told him. He went home and put on some old sloppy clothes and went to the tree and began chopping. What are you doing chopping down a tree? Please help, please stop chopping down a tree. I am cold and need to say dry. I have no money, no wood to buy. Please help, please stop chopping down a tree. I have a nest of babies and they will die. They have no wings and they cannot fly. I'll make you a deal. I'll fly you to the moon. You can get it back in gold and be back real soon. Being the selfish, greedy person that Yang was, he demanded that Mother Eagle take him tonight. Hurry! The sun is coming out! Just a few more! Just a few more! 
You can clearly guess what happens from here. The moral of the story is grief and the importance of relatives. It is a Hmong tradition to teach the younger not to be greedy and that greed will not help you live a better life, but only destroy you. Be thankful for what you have.